Hi, so before I go into the details of the window fan here, I want to show you the fit here in my kitchen window. So I have a 24 inch window here. So one of the most important aspects of a window fan is the minimal width and also the maximum width that it expands. So I'll be going through that in this video as well as the electrical usage and noise level. So, um, you know, let me get started here. This is one of the higher quality window fans that I got from Home Depot and it's pretty affordable. It's uh, about $33. And what I liked about it is that it has a in and out in that it blows out and it also blows in or you can also do an exchange where one blows out and one blows in. So I want to go over the actual size of this, the minimum width and the maximum width as well as the actual electrical use of the uh, fan itself in the three speed settings. So let me go ahead and show you the measurements. So at the minimal width, it is actually 23 and 3 eighths inch. So the reason why that's important is for my kitchen where I want to put this, the window is quite small. It's about two feet in width. And also the other thing I wanted to know was the thickness of this. Um, just basically to make sure that it actually fits the window that I'm placing it in. So if you'll notice here, the thickness of this is actually a little bit under three and a half inches. And in the, in the specs on the website, it's actually a little bit misleading because they'll say the measurements are basically over five inches and that's because they include the legs. And these legs are not necessary when you're actually putting it on the window. Now, if you want to put it on a table or uh, on the windowsill, you might need these. But if you actually put it into the window where it's clamped down basically by the window itself, then the legs are not necessary. Now, I'm also going to turn this on and show you the electrical use. But um, let me go ahead and also uh, show you the measurement of the maximum width of this. So each one of these sort of harmonica extensions actually extend five and a half inches out. So you get an additional 11 inches. So you'll see here that that's five and a half inches. So what you'll get as far as the total width of this is you'll get the 34 inches of total width. And the height itself is actually 11 and three quarters of an inch. So it's a little bit slightly under one foot. Now let me go ahead and demo the fan itself, but what I really want to do also is show you you know how how these come come out. So so they're self-storing, which is very nice. And just give you a close up of the buttons themselves. So you'll see this is sort of like a temperature setting. And this is the out exhaust blowing in and then the exchange which is one blows out and one blows in and the three settings here now I already have one of these watt meters and this watt meter tells me how much electricity is being used now one side of this fan uses at the lowest speed setting 46 watts the next is 52 and then this is 57 watts now that's just for one side so if you actually have both sides at its maximum for example, then the wattage would be 110 watts. Now, let me shrink this out. And it's kind of hard for me to do because I'm actually trying to film this. So, um, there. So there you go. That, that is the, you know, minimal width of this. Now, on the other side, you, you'll see the motor side is actually facing in. So what it says in the description is that it is sort of waterproof. It doesn't matter if it's raining, it won't damage the fan itself. You'll see the blades here. So I have the blades. And let me go ahead and show you the noise level. You'll see there, there's a nice little handy handle here. And once again, as I mentioned, you clamp down the window right here and you know, it holds it in place. Um, now, if you wanted to put the legs on, there are actually notches here where, where you could place the legs. So I'm going to place the legs here just to do my demo of the noise level. So let me go ahead and show you the noise level, turn this fan on. 
Now the other thing you might want to notice about this fan is the cord itself is in the middle so that might matter depending on the orientation you want to put the fan in the windowsill and where this electrical plug is relative to your window. So you'll see here that this is a two prong and it's not a three prong so if uh, you know just keep that in mind that might also make a difference. Now I'm going to plug that in you know put it on the wattage and I'm going to show you the wattage also. So I'm going to turn both fans on and you could get a general sense of the noise level. I'm going to turn one fan off and so that fan is turned on and you'll see here the, the wattage. Now I'm going to turn that at, into a medium. and you could get a sense of the noise level there and now also the wattage which is 54 turn it on its highest level and you could see that it is now 59 watts And let me turn the other side on so you could also get the noise level when they're together. Now with both sides turned on, with one being the highest, the setting of three, and that one setting of one, you'll see it's 103 watts, 102 watts. To the next level, you'll see to the side there turned into 107 watts and both at its extreme high, all at level threes. And that itself is 111, 112 watts. So, um, you know, all together, you could get a sense of the noise level, the width and size of the fan itself. Now, once again, I got, this is the second one that I've got. The other one is still, alive and kicking and is uh, five years old and um, I'll, I'll put a link in the description area of this video where you you could uh, see where I got this from at Home Depot and the very specific uh, size I, I mean uh, the specific link that I got this all right thank you for watching and uh, have a nice day